Well, what's going on? It's Mike from drive80.com. And today I'm going to show you a uh, tutorial on how you can use After Effects to create the style that RX Bars has been using. They're pretty much using a, a real stop motion from what I'm gathering, but there's this is a way you can do it in After Effects where you don't have to literally take frame by frame photos and do it. It's just about controlling the frame rate in After Effects. So here's an example right now if you watch this and I hit play and people's hands are coming in and then the bars, they kind of come out and you see like there's like that stop motion feel to it. Well, in this this case, you know, yes, you're going to need to get, like take frame by frame photos of the hands. But what if you, what if you just wanted to utilize this, um, the bar and make it move around? So what I'm going to do is go to their website and I'm going to control click here. I'm going to save the image as... And I'm going to do it to my folder, uh, tutorials, just some tutorials I've been doing lately. I'll just save it in there. And I'm going to open up After Effects. I'm going to then go, do, do, do. Uh, there we go. I'm going to drag, nope, not the final folder. I'm going to drag here. I'm going to drag this onto my project window. And I'm going to create a new comp, which you can do by just clicking this, or I do Control N make it 1080 by 1080. And here's the key. I'm going to make this frame rate 12 frames per second. It just means that within a second, there'll be 12 images that are showing in a second. And that's what gives it that slowed down feel. If I were to increase this to like 24 or 30, then there would be a lot more frames. And so any kind of motion would be a lot smoother. So having it 12 frames per second is going to be key. And I'll make it 13 seconds. That's fine. I'll put this here. I'm going to drag this image onto here into the comp and uh, to get a background of to be white I'm going to hit command Y to get a solid if not I would just go up here to new layer or layer new and do solid which again is command Y because I'm on a Mac and make it white because it's going to match that background and I'm going to move this below that image and I'm going to lock it because I don't want it to move so basically you're going to mess with the property or I'm sorry the position um, uh, I call it the tool, but position property. And you're going to add a keyframe here. And you'll see if I zoom out that, let's see how many frames we got. Key 13. I don't think I got this right. Let me, let me just add it to be a minute. That's fine. We can always just shrink it down later. All right, good. Perfect. All right. So this thing's about 14 seconds. We'll just increase it to here. Oh, unlock it. Shift command L. Bring this over. I'll bring my time indicator here, hit N as in Nancy, and I'm gonna just crop this off. All right, cool. Now, if I want this to just kind of move around, we're gonna lock that command L. If I want this to kind of just move from left to right or whatever, I can just easily start at the at here and I just bring it off the screen. And then let's say around here, I want it to be over there. So I'm just gonna drag it and click it over. If I close my work area, which is N for again, Nancy or uh, uh, nighttime, I'm going to hit control zero and you're going to see that it's going to move across the screen. Now that might be a bit too fast. So I'm going to extend the time. So it's going to be slower and you'll see that it has the stop motion. See, it has that stop motion feel to it because what's happening is that when you, when you zoom in, here's frame one, and two and three and four there's not a lot of information you know it's like jumping that far if it was more frames in a second it would be way more like it'd be filling in this space a lot more with more images and that's what gives it that, that smooth feel to it but it's still like it still just seems like it's taken too long so let's see if i wanted to go to the middle and then maybe have it rotate so i do command r to give it a rotate and then I would go to here and just hit a one right there. So this should, let's see what this looks. So boom, so it comes in, spins around, that's it. Boom, so it's like maybe new flavor, right? So maybe the time to come in doesn't take as long. So if I just move all this stuff over, it'll come in faster and then flip around. Come in faster, flip around, come in faster, flip around. So that's like, if you have a product online on Instagram, this is a great technique to just give whatever your product is some kind of cool effect to it like that. If it was a necklace, if it was earrings, if it's, I don't know, like a watch, something something that you're selling online. I mean, people don't rent just 
you know, randomly sell watches. But if your company is doing this, then this is a cool technique. So if you learned, that's why I always preach that having learning in the Adobe programs is a lot more powerful because you have so much more control and there's these things you can do with it. But yeah, so let's say that at here, I wanted it to kind of do that effect where, let's see, yeah. So once it comes here, it's gonna, ex, it's gonna, let's see comes in so we can have like multiple. So you can use the same image and just have that be multiple. So if I duplicate this with command D, I'm gonna get rid of all these properties that it has right here. And I'm gonna hit the left bracket just to start it here. So if that's the case, once it gets here, I can do position and I can maybe like bring that here. Now the only issue we're gonna see is that I've got this white background. If I had more time, I would crop this in Photoshop. If I was working for that company, I obviously would have my images preset to do this, but in this case, I can't. So let's see if we can mess with, there we go. I messed with the multiply and it made it look like it was on top of it. That's the only problem here is that it's going to have that weird effect there, which again, I'm just doing this pretty much, you know, super fast. I'm going to just try these out. Maybe this won't be so bad if I find a better one. Uh, no, nah, I don't think that's going to happen. My other render just finished. Yay, that's great. If that's the case where you, you know, if you can't, if you want to crop it out, delete this. If I hit this and hit G, I can just draw inside of here. Let me zoom in. Just do this down and dirty. I'm going to just draw it, and it's going to create a mask since I've got the actual image selected. And once it's done, it's going to crop out any of that white area behind it, which, yeah, there we go. All right, awesome. Again, all I did was come up here. I didn't come up here. I hit G for the pen tool and made sure I was selected on here, and I started drawing. Um, so in this case, we come back here again. I'm going to hit P, you know, option P. I'm going to bring it back here to start, and then I'm going to have it come out to here. Maybe I'm going to have it rotate, so if I have... Uh, option R in the beginning and option R here. I'm going to hit W and just have it kind of come out there. Let's see how this looks. That's probably going to be really slow. Boom. Yeah, that's like super slow. So I'm going to bring these keyframes in closer so it's faster. So boom, boom. There we go. And it's still going to bring that in. Let's try that again. To do. There it is. Yay. Still really slow. That's what's gonna, you know, that that's just, that's the whole thing with animation. It's just you gotta finesse and finesse and finesse until you get it to be where you want it to be. So it goes around, boom. So that's kind of cool. So that one will go this way. Maybe I duplicate it and I zoom in to here. Maybe instead of there, I'm gonna grab this one and bring it over here, and I'll maybe I'll bring it down there so they can kind of split across. It's like boom, yay, coming in, spin around, new flavor. That's it. So yeah, that's uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, you know, sorry, I keep saying so a lot. If you have a product and uh, want to see other ways that you can make it animate pretty cool, just email me at mike at drive 80com Mike at drive 80com Of course, it's not going to show because it's not in the composition. Boom, boom, color. Where's the color? There we go. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Yeah, you can just email me, mike at drive80.com, and give me some things that you'd want to see how to recreate, and I could do videos based on that, and that'd be pretty awesome. And if you don't want to animate anything, just contact drive80.com or email me at drive, mike at drive80.com, or you can check out my website to see all the cool stuff that my company does with animation. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to go here, and I'm going to stop recording.